Hi everyone, this is Phil from Freckle Education and I will be leading our training today. Um, and as you undoubtedly know, today's training is about Freckle math. And so our goal for the next 30 minutes, or I guess I should say my goal for the next 30 minutes, is to show you everything that you need to know to get started with Freckle math in your classroom. So we're not gonna be able to cover every in and out of Freckle math, but believe me, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna cover, I think, kind of the main things that you'll be most interested in. And hopefully by the time that this is done, you'll be really excited to give this a go with your students. And I have to say that um, Freckle math is the most popular subject of all of the Freckle subjects. As you'll see a little bit later, we do Freckle math, ELA, social studies and science. So I'm sure that you're gonna love it. But like I said earlier, my name is Phil and I'm on the team here at Freckle. Um, I used to be a fifth grade teacher, which is not unusual um, here at, at Freckle headquarters because most of our team members used to be teachers and we care really deeply about helping teachers and helping students. Um, so anyway, the main reason I wanted you to see this slide is, is not so that you would have to look at my uh, embarrassing picture here, or right? maybe I'm just always bashful about sharing those things, but it's so that you'll have my email address, which is there at the bottom of the screen. It's phil at freckle.com. Um, so really, if at any point you have any questions, send me an email. I'm gonna save time at the end today uh, to answer any questions that come up, but if you're anything like me, I know that you're probably gonna think of your, your best questions you know, a week or two weeks from now when you're not even trying to think about Freckle. Um, so if that's the case, just send me an email, phil at freckle.com, and I would genuinely love to help. I miss being in the classroom uh, oftentimes, and so any chance that I get to uh, communicate with or help teachers, I just really cherish. And uh, so please don't leave me hanging and send me any questions that you have. So uh, I know I mentioned that today's training is about freckle math, and it is, I promise. Um, but I did want to give you just a brief overview of Freckle as a company, too. And I promise this will only take a few minutes. It's just really whenever I'm going to uh, work with the company, and this is me personally, I always like to know a little bit more about them and kind of know what they stand for and know what they care about. So in case you're like me, I wanted to give you a little bit about that background. And so here at Freckle, our mission is to ensure that every student gets a world-class education. Um, and so far, we're really fortunate in that we work with over 10,000 districts, over 550,000 teachers, and more than 10 million students. Um, and the way that we think that we're gonna ensure every student gets a world-class education is through empowering teachers such as yourselves to reach every one of your students at the level that's best for them. And believe me, as a former teacher, I know that this is something you're already doing or this is something you're already aspiring to do because it's really, really challenging. Uh, and so here at Freckle, we understand that. Uh, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to make it a little bit easier for you to reach your students at their level and to save you some time because we know that teachers work so much outside of the classroom on top of the really challenging job of being a teacher inside the classroom. So when you and your class are using Freckle, your students are always going to work at their level. And that's across math, which we're talking about today, ELA, social studies, and science. And then you as a teacher, it's going to be really easy for you to track your student and classroom level progress. And we'll dig into some of that today. And then administrators can view kind of performance either across classrooms or across their entire district. And in case you are the only teacher in your school um, using Freckle, I wanted you to know that you are in good hands. Uh, I'm always a bit bashful to show this, uh, and I hope that you won't think we're just tuning our own horn here. Uh, but really, Freckle is ranked number one by teachers on the Common Sense website. In fact, we have a perfect five-star teacher rating there. And as I mentioned earlier, we have over 550,000 teachers using us. So, um, even if you are alone in your school, which I hope is not the case or is not the case for long, uh, I want you to know that, you know, there's a lot of teachers that find Freckle really valuable. So you're in really good company. 
And then today we'll be talking about the left hand side of the screen, um, which is Freckle Math. Um, but really, Freckle is a one stop shop for all of your classroom needs. So we have a lot of tools across math, ELA, social studies, and science. Uh, and so today, like I said, we'll focus on math, but I bet you'll find these other subjects of ours valuable too. And hopefully, you can either attend a training on one of those or just kind of check them out for yourself because I think that you'll really enjoy them. All right, so that was my super short overview of Freckle. And really for the rest of today's training, we are gonna dive in and we are gonna be looking at Freckle together. So you can see here on the screen um, that I'm logged in to my um, Freckle teacher dashboard. Um, but before we even poke around too much in here, I wanna show you what Freckle Math looks like for your students. And so I have another window open with a student account and here we go. So here I'm, I'm logged in as a student and what your students see could be a little bit different from what you're seeing here and it's gonna depend on the grade level that you teach. So the dashboard that you're seeing here for your students is for students in grades three through five. There's a specialized dashboard for students in K through two and another one for students in grades six and above. Um, so here is the student account. And so for your students to practice math, they'll come down here to the bottom and they'll choose math. And you'll see here for your students, it's broken down by domain. So if your student wanted to practice measurement and data, geometry, base 10, et cetera, it's all here for your students. They can practice facts. And um, we'll always know what level your students are at because we automatically start them off with a pretest. That's a, a question that I commonly hear from teachers is like, do I have to assign the pretest or anything like that? And no, as soon as your students come in here and practice, they haven't taken it yet, we'll give it to them. And there's a different pretest for every domain. So, for example, uh, let's say that I wanted to practice geometry. You see here, I haven't done the pretest yet. So, when I click this, Freckle is automatically going to ask me to start with the pretest. Once I take that test, Freckle will know what level in that domain to start me at, and then it will continue to adapt to me over time. I'm uh, a little bit worried about taking a pretest in front of this group full of teachers. So I'm not gonna take this one right now. Um, but what we will do is let's look at one of these that I've already taken the pretest for. So for example, measurement and data, I can see that, that me as a student, I'm at level 19. So let's click into here. And so here's kind of the, the magic of Freckle, where I'm at level 19, practicing about mass and volume measurements. But some of my classmates, you know, they might be on level eight about measuring length. And some others might be on level 24 about finding the area by tiling. So we're all gonna be working within this domain, um, but we're gonna be working at the level that's best for us. And so let's hop in here and let's start practicing um, the level that I'm at, mass and volume measurements, which uh, I'm kind of scared to click on because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get any of these right. But I do want you to see kind of what it's like for your students. Great, so this one uh, says, which answer choice shows 1030? Hopefully I get this one right, there we go. Uh, and so a few things I wanna point out for you here that, that are immediately obvious is um, for your students that are early readers, or really it's gonna show up for all of your students, but I think it's especially helpful for students that are early readers. There's a speaker icon down here in the bottom left and your students can click on that and it's gonna read the question out loud to them, and it's also gonna read the answer choices. So even for your students that are just learning to read, they'll still be able to come in here and practice. There's also this video icon, and your students can click at that at any point to get a video walkthrough of uh, a similar question being answered. That's also really, really helpful. Uh, another thing that I'll point out, which will happen from time to time, if your students get a question wrong, let's see if we can get this one wrong. Uh, I'm not gonna read it. Okay, we got it wrong, great. So it's gonna let us try again. And then it offers up the walkthrough automatically and lets us try one more time. And 
one of the, I think, the, the neatest things about Freckle that I really like is sometimes when your students get a question wrong a few times, Freckle will know another student in your class who is great at these types of questions. And so sometimes it will recommend that their student goes and talks to a few other students. So it'll say, um, Phil, it looks like Olivia is great at these types of questions and you can go ask her for some help, which is a, a feature that teachers love and, and they find really valuable. So this is what it looks like for your students to be in here practicing math. As you've seen, no matter what domain they choose, they're always working at their level. But Freckle Math does a whole lot more than just that. I think what I showed you just now is what a lot of teachers use Freckle Math for, but it's way more powerful. And that's what I'm excited to show you now. So on the, the student side, I want to show you one more thing. Let's hop back. You can see down here, there's a section for your students to see assignments. So let's look at my assignments. And here, I don't have any yet. That this is one of the most powerful features of Freckle Math, where you can assign work to your students. And I think the most kind of common use case for this is say that you just taught a lesson to your class. And it, let's, for, for an example, let's say that we just taught our students about triangles. And so as a teacher, I just want to know how did my students do understanding my lesson? Did everyone get it? In which case, we can just move on. Uh, is everyone scratching their heads and struggling, in which case I need to reteach to the entire class? Or are there maybe just a few students, which is probably the most common scenario, that, that had a tough time with it, and then I can pull them away in a small group and really help them while I have the rest of the class doing something else. And so you can do that in Freckle, and you can get all that information. So let me show you how to do that. And in order to do that part, we're going to need to hop back to the teacher dashboard. So here's what the Freckle teacher dashboard looks like. And you can see the navigation is kind of here on the left. So right now I'm at the getting started section. But if I want to assign work to my students on triangles, I need to find the assignment section. And it's right up here on the top in assignments. And then I'm going to go ahead and add an assignment. Choose math. And we're off and running. Here you can see that there's a lot of different assignment types. We're not going to cover all of them uh, in today's training. But the one that we want now is the targeted practice assignment. That's when you know the specific standard or skill that you want to assign to your class. So we're going to choose that one. Now we choose who we want to assign this to. And for now, I'm going to assign it to all of my students. Continue. Then we choose the standard. And in this case, we're talking about triangles, which I think is a fourth grade standard um, here in geometry. Let's see. Yep, there it is, 4.g.2. So continue. Then I can choose the skills if I want. In this case, I'm going to have it set to just all skills in the standard. Then we can choose the number of questions. For this one, I mean, when I was in the classroom, I probably would have done, I guess it depends on how much time I have, I would have done five or 10. In this case, I'll just keep it at 10. And then we're ready to go, and we can either assign it immediately. Or if you're on our premium school edition, you can schedule it and you can assign it for the future. But for here and now, I'm going to assign it. And there we go. It's off to my class and it shows up right here in my assignments. And so now my students are going to see that on their assignments tab. They're going to take that assignment and right away as a teacher, I'm going to know how they did. And since I don't have students actually taking this assignment right now, let's just scroll down and here you can see my assignments. And let's just pretend it was kind of this one here that my students took, uh, this assignment about uh, geometry. So let's open it up. Here's how we could see really quickly and easily how every student did. So let me filter by score perhaps. See a hundreds, nineties, 80s, 70s, 60s, and I could see a lot of students who haven't taken it yet. So 
this is a nice way to just get an at a glance view of that assignment that you just sent out. As soon as your students finish it, you'll get a glance here. So if you just want a quick overview, you can jump in here and see it. Um, and if you want to dive in a little bit more, so we see that Jane uh, got 50%, I can click this and I can hop in and see kind of where Jane struggled here. Okay, so now what I want to do, so now that you know how to assign a specific standard, you know how your students can automatically be practicing at their level within a domain. Now let's look at some of the reports together. And to see any of those, you'll come down here to subjects and choose math. And then choose reports. And there are a few that I want to go over as a group today. So first, uh, let's look at this report cards report. This report is great for getting an in-depth look into the math performance of any particular standard. And so we have a lot of teachers that use these for um, parent-teacher conferences, or even that will kind of print these out and send them home once a week or email them to parents once a week. So let, let's pick one of our students here. And I'm trying to see who I should pick. Let's just pick Virginia Wolf. And I haven't looked at hers in, uh, in advance, let's see what we got. Let's view her report card. Okay, so you have the different time periods that you could filter to. Um, if you are on our free teacher edition, you could always look at the current week. And if you're on our premium school edition, you can really change to any of these time frames that you see here. So so far, let's look at this year. There's not a ton of data in this year because we're just kind of getting started. But here we can see her lowest domain is fractions. And in fact, we can see kind of where she is for every domain. And as the school year goes on, this will turn into a really kind of nice looking, easy to understand chart. We could see how many levels she has passed, either move forward or move backward in any of the domains. We can see which domains she's practicing on the most, how many questions she's answered by domain, how she's doing on standards, and for this uh, we'd have to be set to kind of current week to see that we don't have any data there. And then you can see all of the assignments that she's done in one convenient spot. So again, this is just a great report when you want in-depth information on a particular student. Really easy to share this or print it. So let me hit print just so you can see. So really helpful kind of summary. In this case, one page uh, that would be great to give to their parents. Okay. Let's go back to our reports. The other one that's really helpful is this performance by standard. And this is a way for you to know how your entire class is doing on any standard. So right now we're looking at all domains but I'm kind of curious about how my students are doing overall with their geometry standards. So I'm going to filter it to geometry. And here's that triangles uh, that we just had our students working on. And so here at a glance, I can see that uh, only a few of my students are really struggling with triangles. And we have a, uh, about you know half and half in the 50 to 80 range and above 80 range. So that actually looks like my class is doing OK with triangles. So let's try to look for one where my students are really struggling, but it looks like my class is doing great with geometry. So let's filter back to all domains. And oh, here's one. It looks like, oh, this, yeah, this is a tough one. Um, adding unlike denominators, I can see at a glance, my class is really struggling with that. I have no one in green. I have a whole lot of red. And so here, let's hop into this report. Here we can see all of my students that are below 50% for this standard, all that are in 50 to 80. I have no one above 80 at this point. So at a glance, I can see where my students are. And this is kind of one of the, the coolest things about Freckle is that since I know that my students are struggling this, as a teacher can decide, okay, I need to assign them some more work on this and I need to reteach this. So maybe I reteach it. And then if I want to assign it some more, I can just hit this assign button, it's right here ready for me to go and I could choose who I want to assign it to. If I just want to assign it to those students that are struggling, if I want to assign it to also the students who are approaching proficiency, or do I want to assign it to everyone? 
In this case, I have no one in this bucket, so I'm just gonna choose these and hit reassign. And it pulls everything up for me, gets it ready, selects the right students, and I can go forward here and finish off my assignment. So not only does the report show you information, but it makes it really easy for you to act on that information to help your students. So let's go back to math and go back to reports. The last one that I wanna show you here is the class grouping report. This is a nice, a nice one for, for people like me that are very visual, because um, you can get kind of a at a glance view of how your class is doing uh, the different domains. So let's look at, look at exponential functions. Let's get to go to a fancy one. And here, at a glance, I can see where all of my students are in this domain. So I can see that only a, a few of my students have practiced in this domain. This group hasn't started in this one yet, which is helpful information to know. Then I can see the level, the standard that every student is currently practicing at in this domain. And if I want to assign, again, it's really easy to do that. And you can also set it to a matrix view. And this is probably my favorite view. And we have a lot of students who haven't started it. But for those that have, you get it on this view where it's really easy to see kind of where they are. And if you hover over these numbers, you can see the exact standard that they're working on. Okay, so at this point we know how our students can go in on their own and practice at the level that's best for them and how that happens automatically. We know how we can assign specific standards, how we can see how they've done on those assignments, and how we can look at reports more broadly to know how our students are doing individually and how we're doing as a class across multiple standards. That's a lot, and we did all of that in 20 minutes. That's pretty good. So the last thing I wanna cover here on the map um, is, uh, actually, no, this is not the last thing. I do wanna show you a few more things. Uh, I'm trying to save the best for last, or at least my most favorite part for last. Uh, but the next thing I wanna show you, let's, let's hop to math again. And let's say that we want to practice math skills and standards. So I'm gonna choose here, math content, practice math skills and standard. Here, there's a link here on the right-hand side of your screen generate differentiated printouts. And here you can print worksheets for your students that are automatically gonna be at their level. I would have <laughs> killed for this. I shouldn't say that. I would not technically have killed for this. I would have been really happy to have this feature when I was uh, teaching. So let's click on this link. Here, the way that this looks is, so if I click the generate G, then I'm gonna generate geometry worksheets for all of my students and Every student will get a different worksheet based on the level that they're practicing at in Freckle. So let me click this and you'll see. And this is great for homework uh, or for times when you're, if you're, especially if your students don't have access to internet at home. So we can see Frederick Douglass got a worksheet about defining an angle. Nikola Tesla got one about classifying two-dimensional figures. Benjamin Harrison got one about finding the area of right triangles. So they're all getting worksheets at their level, which is so cool. But well, you can also come down here and you can print worksheets for any standard that you want also. So there's the auto worksheet, and then there's the you know the specific standard worksheet. Uh, I'll show you again how we got there. So we came to subjects math, go to math content, practice math skills and standards, and then generate differentiated Okay, and now I think this might actually be the last thing I wanna show you because we have about five minutes left. I wanna show you our library of inquiry-based lessons. So we have inquiry-based lessons for every single first through eighth grade standard. And these are really, you know, these are ways for your students to learn math through real world engaging scenarios. So not just practicing on the computer, really engaging with the material. And I wanna show you what some of those look like. So to get to those, we go back to math content, and then we choose apply math to real world context. And here you see we have our inquiry-based lessons, and let's explore them. So here you'll see our full library, like as I mentioned, covers all first through eighth grade standards. 
since I used to teach fifth grade, let's hop in there and let's see which ones we have available for fifth grade. And let's choose this maybe scuba diving in lakes and oceans. Let's review this. So what you can see here is this is a full three-day lesson plan where we're giving you, the teacher, everything that you need to teach this lesson. So most of this work is going to be off the computer. Students and teachers love these. This is constantly gets rated as the favorite feature by teachers and students of Freckle Math because it's so different and it's such a fun way to explore math concepts and to learn together. So here on day one, you see that we have a kind of a presentation pre-built for you as a teacher. And this one is about scuba diving in lakes and oceans. Starts with a daily review. And then it starts with a video, which is going to kick off this inquiry-based unit. And I realize you can't hear it yourself right now. But basically what, what this video is doing is it's introducing the inquiry to the students. And it's saying, uh, this person wants to go dive in all of these lakes uh, and they want to make sure that they are kind of diving in the deepest lake possible. Can you like help them do that? And how would you help them do that? And then as you get over here, you'll see that each day has an inquiry sheet. And this is the worksheet that you will pass out to your class. So in any typical like, inquiry based fashion, this is saying the key information is your friend is invited to go to scuba diving with her. Her goal is to scuba dive in the deepest lake lake in every country and then it leaves it to the student to develop the question what are we trying to answer and then it works with them to to show all of their work and work with the teacher on that you see that there are a few different days here and like i said there are videos for every single math standard i really recommend checking these out with your students i know that you and them will love them okay we have about two minutes left and I wanted to save some time for questions. So let me pause, take a second to get a drink of water. And in that time, go ahead and type in your questions. Just type them right into that questions box and go to webinar. And then in about 10, 15 seconds, I'll hop back on and we'll answer as many of those as we can. All right, thanks everyone. All right, so the, the first question that I'm seeing is kind of, you know, what's the difference between the free teacher edition and the premium school edition? Uh, which is a great question. I should have covered that in more detail. So thank you for bringing that up. So we have a free teacher edition of Freckle and that's gonna be free for forever. It's not a limited time free trial or anything like that. And when you're using the free part of Freckle for math, your students can always practice math at their level. So that ex student experience that we looked at to start with, that is exactly the same on the free teacher edition and the premium school edition. Where the difference really lies is in the assignments that we looked at together, um, and also in the data that you have available to you, and then in the inquiry-based lessons that you have available to you. So, when you are assigning work to your students on the free teacher edition, you can do one assignment at a time. So you assign it to your class. Once they've all finished that assignment, you can assign another one. Um, on the school edition, you have unlimited assignments. So you can just, <laughs> you can assign away to your heart's content. Uh, so it's really just one less thing to worry about there. Then when it comes to the reports on math, um, on the free teacher edition, you really have access to a lot of reports for kind of the current week. And on school edition, you have access to kind of, you know, all time data. You can change it to those different time frames that we looked at, which makes it really easy for you to track growth throughout the school year. And then on the inquiry based lessons that we looked at, on the free edition, you have about three to five of those units available for every grade level. And on the school edition, you have unlocked the entire library during career based units.
Okay, um, someone uh, is here is asking if I could show one more time uh, how to assign a standard to my students. And yes, absolutely, I would love to. So here you just come up to the top and choose assignments. And then do add an assignment, choose math. If you want to assign the specific standard, that's a targeted practice assignment. And then follow this workflow here to assign that to your class. All right, we are about out of time. So I want to leave you with my email address. Give me a second here and I'll pull that up. So again, uh, my email is phil at freckle.com and email me at any time if I can be of any help. I'm so thankful that you took the time to learn a little bit more about Freckle Math and I'm especially thankful for all that you do for your students. Your hard work really means a lot to us. We are genuinely grateful and I hope that comes across. And if there's ever anything that we can do to help, please either email me here at phil at freckle.com, obviously my personal email address, or we have our support team. You can email them also at support at freckle.com. All right, thank you so much, everyone. Uh, again, if you ever have any questions, let us know. All right, take care.